One of my favorite parts of homeschool is getting to spend time all together. And aside from our individual subjects, I like to have what we call like family studies, which we tend to do in the mornings, but it can be done anytime during your day, but it's every single day. And we tend to study any subjects that we can combine all our kids and still get really rich learning out of. I love to keep us together for some of these subjects. So here's what we're using for the 2023-2024 school year as a family. So the first thing we're gonna do is continue on with our Bible studies with Not Consumed. What I love about Not Consumed is they have a lot of different topical Bible studies that the whole family can use. So they have guides for parent and youth, which is like their teen level. They have a junior level, which is um, that later elementary. And they have a even younger level. I think they call it primary, but it's like all, from pre-K um, to early elementary. And so each study, let me show you really quick. Still in the plastic, but this one's called Fruit of the Tongue. I have um, a youth for my teen, 13 plus, and then the, these two for my eight to 12 year old. So each of these books are on the same topic, but they're designed so that it's based on their maturity level, their reading level, um, even the line spacing and how many lines they provide to write in. And so these have been really good for us. So I picked up two of these. I'm not sure which we're gonna use first. This one is called Keep Thy Heart. How your heart attitude determines your path. And then this one is called Fruit of the Tongue, a biblical study on the power of words. And so we've done My Brother's Keeper, which is all about sibling relationships uh, so far, and that has been really helpful. We're currently in one called Do Right, which is um, just making wise choices. And they all refer, they all have us looking in our Bible, writing down some scripture and learning the lessons based on that. So that's been really great for us and something that we can do all together. Another thing we're gonna use in our morning time is a nature guide. And this is one I picked up from Chicky and Rue. It's a small shop, another homeschooling mom uh, created shop. And it's the California Nature Guide, a full year Charlotte Mason inspired curriculum. And it works a, like a lot like uh, exploring nature for children, if you've heard of that one. Um, but it's just based on things of your state. And so she has a lot of other states up on her website if you wanna check it out. But these are great. Um, each each week has a different topic: caves, dolphins, otters, strawberry, wildflowers, poppies, avocados, things that you would find easily in your state. And there's book suggestions, and there are project suggestions, watercolor ideas, things to observe when you go outdoors, some book suggestions. There's also links for further resources. So different websites that you can go to and reference based on that topic. And we started this last year. We kind of were hit and miss. Nature study is something that I need a lot of guidance on and assistance with. And so this guide has um, been helpful to keep me accountable. And I like that it's based on the year. And so I can just flip to whatever month we're in and see what we can do in that month. So my younger two kids will be studying early American history next year. And I've always loved the Simply Charlotte Mason guides. It's a year of history, geography, and Bible. And so no matter what history curriculum we're using, I usually have one of these. I purchased them used um, and go through the book list on here and the, suge the suggestions for when to read it. I love the way they teach the Bible. We gain a lot of insight from them and uh, discussing it as a family. They have discussion prompts as well. And what I love about it is they have book suggestions for every form. And so I'll pull follow this for extra book suggestions um, to go along with whatever we're reading aloud. So these will be more independent reading, which we've had a great experience following this book list. Some other things we'll be using together, not every day. Well, a lot of this is not every single day, but it's kind of spread out and I mix it up. So every morning will look a little different, different combination of things, but we'll also be using Squilt music lessons online. And when you are a Plus member, then you have access to all their past archive lessons which is huge and so that's been great we'll just pull from whatever wherever we're at and um, we also are going to try a new fitness curriculum which is also online we'll do that maybe twice a week and it's created by a 
fellow believer and um, it's something very new to us so i'll be updating you on that i'll link it below it's called form it's called form curriculum and it's based on health and fitness so to go along with our fitness curriculum we're going to be using a new nutrition curriculum and last year i mentioned that we pulled something from something i found online we rarely stop or give up on a curriculum but that was one that all of us had a really difficult time following and seeing through and so we had stopped that one and i've been on the hunt for this past year just trying to keep my eyes out for something that would be good for all of us and i settled on this one i'm so thankful that i found this one it's called growing up nourished a nutrition curriculum for kids um, it is beautiful i mean just beautiful so many pictures full color and really great descriptions for all things nutrition now this also comes with a nutrition journal for kids and again really interactive mindful eating exercise pulse test reflections a food journal a water tracker which we need help on meal planner grocery list and there are some recipes in the back which i think my kids will really be excited about so we will use this in our morning time as well and there's a discount code for you linked at the bottom if you want to check it out for art we will be using watercolor school from lily and thistle and we've been using that for over a year it has a wide variety of lessons complete library of different watercolor lessons from beginning to advanced and it's vast enough that all of my kids ages 8 to 14 now can use it so in addition to the watercolor school we'll be using an art study from idlewild and company this is a company that i've just recently fallen in love with this last year we used their word studies and organic studies and i just cannot recommend the word studies enough if you've been around my instagram or blog you've known i have gushed about this curriculum it, the word studies is a bible study that is so simple so simple but so deep and it was perfect for all of my kids ages they were able to we were able it just sparked a lot of great discussion and helped us to really understand what we were reading a lot better and there are no pictures it's black and white the only book you need is your bible and it's just exactly what we needed and i suggest that you look into that i do have a discount code for that one the other one is called the organic studies and that is a nature study that one was also great and that goes really well with the word studies they actually are created like to work together the organic studies was loved a lot more by my younger kids i think it's younger in like the elementary age and younger my middle schooler would sometimes i would say oh you can move on and do whatever because the uh, the books are pretty young picture books um but my youngest too they loved the organic studies as well so because i love those so much then i wanted to try the art studies by idlewild and company so this is similar format except there's color in this one and photos which is different it'll say the books needed the art supplies needed some further exploration and some practical like art lessons this is the book one of the one of the two books that um, go along with it so those are all our family studies for the 2023 2024 school year you can check out all the uh, curriculum we're going to use for third sixth and ninth grade in this coming school year which will be our 10th year homeschooling as a family i hope that you'll uh, subscribe to our channel and visit us on instagram at juicebox homeschool thank you for watching see you next time